Good morning. My name is Ron Singh from Digi International, and I'd like to welcome you this morning to our webinar. Uh, the title there is Accelerating Wireless Development with Digi XP RF Ecosystem. Uh, so this morning's presentation will be surrounding the range of Digi RF modules. Our presenters this morning will be uh, myself. I'm the Director of Distribution for Digi International in Europe. Uh, Martin schulz who is our manager of our FAE, FAE uh, engineering team, and Paul Norbury, who is director of sales for the RF and embedded products. Uh, I will just say that um, you are able to ask questions at any point throughout the, um, the, uh, the webinar. We tend to manage the answers at the end of the webinar. We have a Q&A session, but Please, as questions enter your mind, you can either use the uh, go to webinar questions facility or chat facility rather, um, or you can email us at digi.webinars at digi.com. So if you do have any questions throughout the presentation, please send them in and we will address them at the Q&A session at the end of the webinar. Um, for those of you who don't know a great deal about Digi International, in Europe uh, we have uh, three uh, product offerings. We are a US-based company, but we have uh, facilities in, across Europe and st staff across the whole of Europe. Um, our product offering falls into these three categories. Um, we have what we call our box product portfolio, and these are our LTE routers and network server, port server, type devices, um, uh, bonding and complementing those product range. We have a remote management uh, software platform uh, amongst a range of software tools that we have. And finally, and the reason for this presentation today, we have our embedded hardware division. Our embedded hardware falls primarily into two products. We have a range of embedded uh, system on modules and single board computers based around NXP processors. And if you're interested to know more about those, we will be having another webinar this Thursday at the same time, 10 a.m. Central European time to cover those products. But this morning's presentation by Martin and by Paul is going to cover the Digi XB RF modules, uh, which Digi uh, offers. So Martin, uh, oh, sorry, yes, that's right. And bonding all of our products together is DigiTrustFence. DigiTrustFence is our security infrastructure platform. And as I said, it, costs, it covers all of our product ranges uh, and takes the effort and burden away from our customers, customers of having to define and manage their own security platform. So Martin, if I may hand over now to yourself. Yes, good morning. Thank you very much, uh, Ron, and he hello and welcome, everybody. Um, as Ron just mentioned in today's presentation, I will talk about Digi's RF products, to be precise, the Digi XB IoT connectivity solution. Um, I will start with an overview and introduction, then explain the product offering in more detail, talking through the most relevant products in the portfolio. Afterwards, present the various tools offered by Digi, which are used in different product and development lifecycle phases and which reduce the complexity of the tasks, tasks required to develop, build, deploy and manage RF devices. So con to conclude this session, me and my colleague Paul Norbury will present a few customer application scenarios and customer success stories. Digi's mission is to simplify and accelerate the development, deployment, and management of secure connected devices. We, we help our customers to save time, money, and risk, and enable them to focus on their core competency instead of embedded wireless design complexity. Our embedded product offering consists of ARM-based embedded system on modules and single board computers using NXPs, IMX application processors and additional wireless components bundled with strong software support and many security features. 
and the XBRF communication modules providing a common form factor supporting multiple RF technologies. XB is a Digi brand name. It's the name of a product family of RF communication modules, gateways, and tools supporting various frequencies, protocols, and topologies. The modules come in multiple hardware variants which share a common form factor and are pin compatible and software compatible to make it very easy to switch from one technology to another or to migrate to a more recent variant of a module that provides new functionality. In addition, the modules come with global certifications, which greatly reduces the certification effort, creating a final end product using, using an XP module. As with any other Digi product, a key focus of the XP product family is to make the development and deployment as easy as possible to reduce risks for the customer and decrease time to market. We provide various options to utilize and program the module, all of which are simple and easy to use. This allows developers to connect sensors or actuators directly to the module and write applications using simple APIs or the MicroPython programming language. In addition to the software stack on the module itself, we provide libraries that allow developers to create applications using the module as communication devices in various other use cases. For example, when the module is connected to a microcontroller or when it is embedded into a more sophisticated device such as a custom RF gateway. To simplify and accelerate the development, manufacturing and deployment processes, we provide a vast amount of software and hardware tools to be used by the different type of people contributing to the product lifecycle, such as developers, manufacturing engineers, and service personnel in, in the field. In general, the Digi XB product offering can be divided into three different categories, short range, long range, and cellular. Remember that even across those categories, the modules are pin and software compatible. Short-range modules operate on 2.4 GHz and support protocols such as 802.15.4 for a simple and fast, low-latency point-to-point and point-to-multipoint communications, as well as two mesh technologies, ZigBee and DigiMesh. Both are used to create intelligent self-routing and self-healing mesh networks. ZigBee is an open interoperable standard DigiMesh, which is a proprietary protocol developed by Digi, supports completely battery-powered mesh networks. The long-range products are based on 868 MHz for Europe, Africa, and Middle East, and 900 MHz mainly for the US, some parts of Asia, and Australia. Long-range in this case means about 1 to 3 kilometers on 868 MHz outdoors, and typically up to 40 kilometers using 900 megahertz. As you can see, the different regulations regarding maximum output power across the world have a significant impact here. In general, a lower frequency has the benefit of providing better range and better material penetration, which means the long range products are also often used in indoor applications. On the other hand, a higher frequency provides more bandwidth. Mesh technologies typically require um, higher bandwidth. However, Digi has optimized DigiMesh so it can run on sub gigahertz in addition to 2.4 gigahertz. Apart from DigiMesh, a point to multi point setup is supported as well on the long range products. Last but not least, we offer XB modules supporting multiple cellular technologies such as 3G, LTE CAT1, LTEM, and NBIoT. Three compatible hardware variants are available, a micro module, also called MMT, a through-hole module, which has pins attached to it on the bottom, and a larger SMT module for backwards compatibility to, to legacy XB modules. The um, XB cellular is a variant of the through-hole form factor with additional UFL connector and a SIM card slot. 
All of these offer various antenna options, such as PCB or chip antennas, UFL, SMA, and RF pad con connectors, depending on the hardware variant. Security is a very important, but also complex topic. Digi is providing a security framework called TrustFence. TrustFence is a Digi brand name, and this framework provides several fully implemented security features for the XB module. For example, Secure Boot makes sure only authorized digitally signed firmware is running on the module. Secure Storage encrypts the local file, file system. And of course, Secure Connections authenticates and encrypts the actual data communication. TrustFence is added value provided by Digi to allow our customers to make their IoT devices more secure without the need of spending significant time to implement these features. The footprint, pinout, and software compatibility between XB modules allows developers to create future-proof solutions. For example, it is easy to migrate to a newer module that provides additional features, but it also allows to upgrade to a newer technology without changing carrier boards or software implementations. You can see this as an insurance for your investment. You typically do not have this ability on chip designs or other solutions. This is the major benefit of using a Digi module. Digi's pod products are on the market for at least 10, um, many 15 years, and even often longer. Product longevity is a key philosophy of Digi. So let's have a closer look at the most relevant and current XP products. In the short range category, we provide the XP3 2.4, which operates on 2.4 gigahertz and supports point to multipoint, Zigbee and DigiMesh topologies. You can easily switch from one protocol to the other by changing the firmware. In addition, it supports Bluetooth low energy for device connectivity, configuration and commissioning. It supports the TrustFence security framework and is programmable using the MicroPython programming language. Digi is supporting this by providing APIs, libraries, and development tools, as we will see in more detail later. The module has several interfaces to connect sensors and actuators directly, such as digital I.O., analog inputs, serial ports, and I2C. It is fully industrial temperature rated, same as any other XP module. And also, as with any other XP module, we provide pre-certifications for the device. The module is offered in three hardware variants, the micro MMT form factor, through hole, and SMT. With the through hole and SMT form factors, we provide a migration part for existing XP designs. For new designs, we typically recommend using the MMT form factor. The XBSX module is part of the long range category. It supports 868 MHz and 900 MHz, depending on the region in the world. This module is optimized for a maximum link budget. Output power is higher than on 2.4 GHz in general, but still regulated, of course. Besides the transmit output power, the sensitivity on the receiver side is also crucial for the link budget. This is the value you should compare. And uh, the, X, the SX module is optimized for, for this value. It supports point to multipoint and DigiMesh and offers similar hardware interface options and the same industrial temperature rating as the XP3 module. The form factor for this module is SMT. For cellular in Europe, we currently offer an XB3G and a XB LTE M NBIoT, which is a combo module supporting both protocols globally. It is software compatible to other modules, is programmable using MicroPython, and supports Bluetooth Low Energy in addition to the cellular interface. 
Also, it has a similar set of hardware interfaces as other, as, as other XP modules, and it also fully supports TrustFence for IoT device security. Let me point out the additions or added value provided by an XP cellular module compared to a chip solution or a less integrated modules. We call those basic modules. First, the XP is fully integrated using the cellular modem itself, a SIM slot, the RF circuitry, including the UFL connector, power management, and certifications, reducing time to market significantly. The module provides an extra Cortex M4 microcontroller to run your custom application. An additional microcontroller is often not required. We provide a powerful software layer in addition to a standard AT command set provided by most vendors. This reduces the software development effort greatly. And I will discuss this in more detail in a few minutes. As mentioned, the standard form factor makes it easy to migrate to a module supporting new features or new technology. The hardware interfaces of the module allow you to connect external equipment directly and easily. And the XP cellular module provides features that are normally not present on basic modules or need to be implemented externally, such as security, connection management, Bluetooth, and the rich set of development tools provided by Digi. Let's have a look at the complete XP ecosystem. XBRF modules are the foundation of this complete IoT networking solution. For products that do not have an IP stack included directly, we provide off-the-shelf programmable gateways that provide a bridge between RF and IP for remote connectivity, if it's required. IP interfaces supported are cellular, Ethernet, and Wi-Fi. Different variants of gateways are available for different use cases. XP cellular modules have an IP stack included and can connect directly to the internet, of course. Customers can use or implement available or custom protocols for server, backend, or cloud communication. We provide examples and instructions to connect to the major cloud providers, such as Amazon Web Services or Microsoft Azure, in addition, customers can utilize Digi's, Digi's cloud-based device management and communication platform, Digi Remote Manager. Digi also offers professional services for customers in need of assistance with hardware or software development, certifications, or other RF-related topics. And finally, Digi is offering a vast amount of hardware and software tools to accelerate and simplify tasks in all the different product and development lifecycle phases, which include the development of the product, including hardware and software design, building or manufacturing the final end product, deployment, commissioning, and mass rollout of the product in the field, ongoing management, maintenance, and communication with devices in the field. Note that all software tools provided by Digi are completely free of charge. First, we provide a powerful software stack that runs on the module. In addition to a common AT command and transparent data mode, Digi provides a higher level, simple but powerful API communication mode, which allows developers to utilize all the features of the protocols and the module itself, such as acknowledgement and status messages, diagnostics, network discovery, remote configuration, remote firmware updates, remote access of hardware interfaces such as analog I.O. or digital I.O. and more. This high level of integration is unique in the market, enabling fast development of reliable applications. Customers that want to connect the module to an external device, such as a microcontroller or embedded system, can leverage existing libraries available for different programming languages to implement their applications. On the other hand, 
applications running on the XB module directly can be implemented using the MicroPython program, programming language, which allows you to add edge intelligence to your products. An external microcontroller is not required in this case. Several examples for standard or custom protocols for communication to sensors and actuators connected directly to the module to demonstrate the use of the Bluetooth low energy features on the module and many more are available. For the development of these MicroPython applications, we provide a plugin for the popular PyCharm Integrated Development Environment, IDE, which is used by many Python developers. It automatically detects connected XB modules. You can deploy or debug applications with one mouse click. Debugging includes all the standard debugging tools such as setting breakpoints, stepping through the code, and so on. It includes wizards to get started with each XB product that is supported, and it includes a huge number of samples for different use cases. Well, if you know XB modules, you probably also know XCTU. It is the configuration and test utility for XB products. It allows configuration and firmware updates of modules connected to a PC and remote devices in the network. It comes with a graphical network view, providing a logical view of the network, including the connection quality of RF links. It includes several tools to test and analyze the API communication. And one of the most popular tools uh, is the built-in range test, which can be used for evaluation, evaluation and site service. You only need a module powered by a PC or a USB power plug and another module connected to a laptop, for example. When you start the range test, you can freely move around with the laptop and the connected module and observe real-time updates of signal strength and packet delivery rates, depending on range and RF conditions. Let me quickly demonstrate this to you. Oops. I'm, that's working. So in my setup, I have one module on a development board, on a Digi development board connected to my laptop and another module connected to a smartphone charger, a USB power plug which is stationary in my room. I can't move around a lot right now because I'm sitting, but I can start the range test and potentially I can move around with my laptop and see live updates of signal strength and the packet delivery rate. As you can see, packets sent, packets received for a 100% delivery rate, these, these values should be the same, of course. And I see the local and even the remote signal strength of the, of the remote device. For example, if I place my hand on one module, you see that you see that the, the values change according to the RF conditions. So this is really useful and ideal for, for site surveys and testing any of the XP products in, in regards to range and if they fit for a specific application. This is one of the many tools included in the XCTU software. So let me go back to the presentation. Here we are. XCTU also includes a serial console to test data communication and even a spectrum analyzer and a throughput measurement tools. Those can also be used for, for site surveys and, and evaluation of XB products. Digi is currently in progress of designing a new generation of this software, which will be called XB Studio. I just want to make you aware of this name change. One goal of this upgrade will be to improve the user interface and the user experience of the tool to focus on getting started with complete XP development kits. This is why it was decided to change the name from XCTU to XP Studio for this upcoming release. For app development, we provide a software development kit called XP Mobile SDK that allows developers to create mobile applications communicating with the XB over Bluetooth. For example, an end user application 
that visualizes sensor data on a mobile device from a sensor connected to the XB directly. This SDK provides authentication, encryption, and communication APIs and is available for multiple platforms, such as Xamarin for iOS, Apple devices, and Android, and Java. As usual, code examples and documentation are included as well. Digi also provides hardware tools that can be used in the evaluation and development of an XP product. For example, our development boards are available for all XP form factors, and the most recent board includes an onboard temperature and humidity sensor and connectors to add third party sensors easily. This allows you to create full end to end IoT proof of concepts in a very short time frame. In addition, there's an extension header on the board, which allows you to add custom add-on boards for other functionality. As an example and reference, we have developed a GPS daughter board providing location data for applications. It comes with complete design files and MicroPython source code to be run on an XB module. The next product lifecycle I'd like to discuss is the manufacturing of final end products, which in most cases requires the XB modules in the design to be programmed or configured. To support this, Digi has developed the XB Multi Programmer. It is a hardware board that allows concurrent programming of up to six, six XB modules, including module or cellular modem firmware update and the deployment of configuration settings and MicroPython code. Multiple programmers can be daisy-chained to increase the number of modules to be programmed simultaneously. And it comes with software to run on a PC that shows progress and status of each programming process. You can also export programming, programming reports for your quality department, for, for example. For deployment of products in the field, Digi provides a software tool called XB Network Assistant. Remember that the focus of our XCTU tool is the configuration, update, and testing of one or a few modules in the lab or office. The focus of the XB Network Assistant is the mass rollout and commissioning of multiple devices in installations. Instead of using a logical map, XB Network Assistant uses a physical map, for example, a floor plan or a Google Maps layer, and it includes visualizations of network routes and link quality. In addition, Digi provides the XB3 USB stick, an XB node in a USB stick form factor, which can be connected to PCs directly without the need of development boards. This can be useful for, for workers responsible for commissioning or maintenance on site. The XB Mobile SDK we discussed earlier can also be used to create custom commissioning and deployment applications that can run on mobile devices. Digi provides a full app that can be downloaded from Google Play Store or Apple App Store that demonstrates this use case. We provide the source code of this application as a starting point for commissioning and deployment tools implemented by customers using the XB Mobile SDK. When we look at the Bluetooth capability available on the XB3 modules in general, it is worthwhile to mention a few features we support specifically and additions Digi made. First, Digi has implemented an additional security framework that works on top of the normal Bluetooth communication. This framework is based on the secure remote password, SRP, protocol and is improving the security for Bluetooth connectivity significantly. Second, the modules support Bluetooth low energy beaconing, custom advertisements, 
and the ability to receive data from external Bluetooth low energy devices such as sensors. To conclude my introduction of the most relevant tools, let's talk about remote connectivity for device management and data communication. Digi offers a cloud-based management and communication platform called Digi Remote Manager. It works with any Digi product and provides remote management and application data communication capabilities. Management features include automatic secure firmware updates, configuration settings, status and device health monitoring, alarms, and much more, either for single devices or groups of devices. Digi Remote Manager also offers the capability to easily connect end user applications with multiple devices in the field to send and receive application data. With Digi Remote Manager, you have full access to the XB modules, not just cellular, but also modules connected through a gateway, for example, Zigbee modules. This enables you to access data from your end nodes with other applications, such as web or cloud applications, using open APIs provided by the platform. If you plan to develop a custom RF gateway or a more sophisticated concentrator device, we recommend to combine a DigiConnect core product and a Digi XP module. Digi offers embedded system on modules based on NXP's IMX application processors and single board computers populated with these SOMs. Those single board computers are ready-made boards which can be used without additional hardware development. The Digi SOMs on those SBCs have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth already integrated. By adding an XP module, you can extend the wireless capabilities with, for example, 2.4 GHz Zigbee, DigiMesh, sub GHz, or cellular, LTM, NB-IoT, for example. The Connect Core SBCs are equipped with an XP socket, and the operating systems running on the Digi SOMs, Yocto, Linux, and Android, contain libraries and tools supporting XB modules for easy software development. This is the easiest way to create a custom RF gateway. Here are some links to a few topics we discussed today, including links to the XB portal, our documentation, example projects, and other, other useful resources. To get started with any XP product, we offer various development kits which are coming with modules, dev boards, antennas, and everything else required to get up and running in a few minutes. I listed the part numbers for the short range XP Zigbee mesh kit and the XP cellular dev kit as examples. Finally, I would like to present a few customer RF application scenarios. Besides the use case, I also want to show technical details and requirements for each of these. The goal is to be able to help developers and make them aware of what to think about when they are planning an RF application. You can see this as a, as a technical checklist for a wireless IoT solution development. The first example, is the customer providing a monitoring and control solution for assisted, assisted living of elderly people, for example. This solution is potentially sold worldwide. The devices are in range of each other and the networks are small, covering one or two rooms with up to 15 devices per network. A mesh network is not mandatory in this case. However, low latency is required for sending control commands. The data rates and the frequency of messages are relatively low. The solution requires strong security and Bluetooth to develop a commissioning application. The ideal XP product for this application is the XP3 
Next example is an intelligent wireless street lighting system for monitoring and control. This solution is sold worldwide as well. In this case, the network is deployed outdoors and covers a much larger area in a city. Up to 250 nodes are present in one network and the range is 50 meters between each device with antennas being positioned high over ground on top of the streetlights, which is beneficial for any RF solution. The higher the antenna, the better. To be able to reach all devices in the network, a mesh protocol is mandatory. Battery power, however, is not required. Data rates and message frequencies are higher. However, the developers plan to implement a polling system from a concentrator or master device to fully control the amount of messages in the network. The Zigbee protocol includes a few optimizations for this type of use case when you have one master device which communicates to many remote devices and vice versa. Strong security, Bluetooth and a gateway for remote management and data communication is required. The choice for this application is the XB3 Zigbee, a Digi RF gateway and Digi Remote Manager, which cover all the requirements for this application out of one hand. The last example is a bit more challenging. In this case, we are looking at a solar farm with 1000 and more solar trackers that connect wirelessly. However, the customer plans to split up the network in different chunks, but they can overlap. The network spans a total area of more than three square kilometers. The antennas are closer to the ground and range between the devices is up to 250 meters. Obviously, a mesh network is required here. The application requires sending broadcasts to all devices quickly. DigiMesh includes optimizations to support this use case. Security is required, but programmability, Bluetooth and remote connectivity are planned for the future. However, the solution requires several concentrator devices for each of the network chunks to be placed in the network to bridge between the RF network and an Ethernet backend. This can be fulfill, fulfilled with our gateways too. The the Sorry, the best candidate for this solution is probably the XBSX868900 using Digimesh or the XB3 2.4 with Digimesh, depending on the exact range requirements and antenna placements. Thank you very much for your attention so far. Let me hand over to my colleague, Paul Norbury, Director of Sales EMEA, Embedded NRF, to present a few further customer success stories. Thanks again and over to you, Paul. Thank you, Martin, and, and good morning, everybody. Uh, today, I'd like to share with you some of the customer projects that we've worked on, where Digi XB modules have been used, and we can show the diverse nature of their applications. As you see here, uh, the first one is a solar tracking system, which is Martin has just explained. This is providing low cost renewable energy into the national grid. Digi supply the Digi module and also the gateways for this system. Secondly, we have a consumer application. This is a remote control robotic lawnmower, which I can sure we could all do with. So you can sit down, relax with a glass of wine, while the robot cuts the lawn. Seems like a really good application for me. And thirdly on here, we see emergency lighting. This is where there are no cables. This can be a retrofit into any building, office, cinema, cruise ship, nursing home or hospital. One thing that all these projects have in common is they use hundreds and thousands of Digi XB modules. So don't think modules are low volume. These are extremely high volume applications. Again, we have three very different applications. The first here is a remote 
um, handheld, like a gaming console for use on cranes. This can be controlled from the ground so the man doesn't have to climb the actual crane. So there's safety involved here, time saving. So like I say, it's very much like a gaming console. Second one we have here is a patient monitoring system that we use in hospitals and nursing homes. Again, no cables, quick and easy to install. These sales have obviously increased in recent times due to the, the pandemic we have today. So it is positive we can look after people when in their actual needs. Thirdly, is an intelligent heating control system. This is great for allowing you to monitor the amount of energy that you're using and control the heat via your smartphone, which again, helps save us costs and money. Three applications, again, very diverse. The first one is a petrol station or gas station signage system. This allows you or allows the customer to change the prices on the LED signs instantaneously. So if they have a new delivery, it comes in, the cost of that gas is either higher or lower than the previous one, they can instantly change it. Again, saving time and saving money. City bike rentals, we see these mainly around most major cities in France. Quick and easy transport, pollution-free, environmentally friendly, and we help here track and trace and manage the data coming from the system. And last but not least, we have stadium or arena, <coughs> excuse me, flood lighting controls. The new system that we're looking here, which we haven't been able to show, is the latest project is lighting for golf courses so that people can play golf in the evenings. So as you can see, we work on many different and many very diverse projects using Digi XP modules. So just to recap, if I may, RF designs are not easy and Digi modules provide quick time to market with proven technology. Digi provide a fully integrated software stack free of charge, saving many man hours of software writing. All Digi modules are fully certified. And as Martin alluded to earlier, with 10 to 15 years of life. So longevity is something that we pride ourselves upon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Digi provide trust fence security free of charge for all modules. XP3 also have onboard MCU. So you're able to program your own MicroPython code where required. XP3, there is also Bluetooth option for easy setup and configuration using either a PC, a tablet, or a smartphone. Most importantly is the enablement tools to allow you to utilize the product quickly, effectively, and easily. XCTU, as Martin has shown, allows you to do this. Plus, we have design services to help get your project to market faster. And last but not least, DRM, what we call Digi Remote Manager. All nodes can be controlled and monitored with alerts and alarms, providing over-the-air upgrades using the Digi Remote Manager. Thank you for your time this morning. I will now hand you back to Ron for any questions. Thank you, Martin, and thank you, Paul, for that excellent presentation. Uh, if you've never seen or heard anything about the Digi XP modules before, I hope you really got a flavor of the product offering in that presentation and uh, understood some of the benefits to you in terms of mitigating cost, time to market, and risk in your designs. Um, as mentioned earlier, you can send us through some questions we're having some come through now uh, using the chat facility um, you can or you can use the email facility to send us uh, questions through or you can contact any of us via um, email uh, phone if you know your uh, local uh, digi salesperson or 
uh, Digi uh, distributor in your region. Um, you can contact us on LinkedIn as well. So I have some questions here already, Martin, uh, or Martin and or Paul, whoever wishes to take them. Um, first question is, uh, okay, so the Digi Series 2 and Series 1 have been around for some time as legacy uh, 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 XP modules. As Paul mentioned, we tend to make the products with very, very long lifetime availability. With the uh, Digi XB3, um, are they fully compatible with the old XB2s and XB1s? How, was e how easy is it to migrate from the old XBs to the new XBs, please, Martin? Yeah, um, of course. There are two, um, two points to mention here. One is the hardware. Um, as I mentioned, the, um, we have specifically developed or upgraded the, um, the through-hole and the SMT form factors to be fully backwards compatible with any other legacy uh, XP device. So hardware-wise, they are fully compatible with, with legacy products. And also on the software side, they are, they are compatible. And um, I think it's worthwhile to mention that if you use um, Zigbee uh, modules, from from a more on a more legacy product with a with an XB3 Zigbee, they are also RF compatible. So even over the air, they are they are compatible, which which means you can mix legacy products and XB3 products in in the same network. Okay, thank you, thank you very much, Martin. And another question here is: you mentioned the the XP multi programmer, multi module programmer. Um, how many modules does that programmer manage or can program and how many of the programmers can be connected together, I guess daisy chained together? Yeah, one one programmer can handle six um, modules at the time and you can, so the, 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 let's say the recommended maximum amount is four programmers in total, so that would allow you to program 24 modules concurrently. Brilliant. Depends, of okay. course, on the PC, but that's that's the recommended value. Excellent, thank you. Okay, those were the the questions that were coming through in the chat. As I mentioned, if you have any other uh, questions that come to mind, or you would like to get hold of a copy of this presentation, uh, please contact us directly. Uh, so you can use any of the email addresses that have been shown. Uh, you can see us there that on our website. You can contact us at. Uh, digi.com backslash contact us. Uh, you can contact us via LinkedIn or, or any other social media platforms. Um, as mentioned at the beginning, uh, this is one of four presentations that we're actually doing. Over the next couple of days, we're doing uh, presentations on our cellular routers and gateways and, and also our infrastructure management products. But directly related to this one on XP modules is um, the one on Thursday, which um, the team will cover uh, Digi's range of Connect Core uh, modules, system on modules, and single board computers. Uh, these are modules based on NXP processors, incorporating Ethernet, Wi Fi, Bluetooth. And uh, if you are able to make it, uh, you can find, again, invites for this. We can email you. You can pick it up on all social media. You probably may have seen invites from your local distributor, and we'd be more than happy to have you attend that uh, webinar, uh, listen to the presentations from our experts, and uh, have some more questions afterwards. So thank you again for your time. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it. And we look forward to speaking with you again in due course. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Paul. Thanks, all. Thank, Thank you, John. Paul.